Conference is over now. I'm separated from Jody now. Jody's heading to Aberdeen. I'm going with Discover Northern Ireland. And I'm going somewhere in Northern Ireland. Actually, I'm going back to some of the locations I've been before. It's kind of Game of Thrones themed, what we're up to. So I'm gonna jump in this van and go check out some Game of Thrones locations and yeah, just beautiful places in Northern Ireland. Let's go. It's so good to get out into the fresh air here in Northern Ireland. I loved Greece, I loved Crete, but there's just something about like the dramatic cold weather. I don't know, it's just special every time. We're at uh, Ballygally Castle, which must be the like tamest name for a castle. Like if you're gonna go conquer a castle, you're like, let's go after Ballygally. It sounds kind of weak. So uh, I think we're gonna go check this out and then we're gonna keep driving north. Such a decent price earning my affection Now there's no way to go back Hold me when we're in that movie Where you teach me how to dance And I'm just a young and foolish Backs for a second chance And doing clumps and pirouettes In your bedroom light Okay, so I mentioned that we were doing a bit of a, a Game of Thrones tour, going to Game of Thrones locations, and our guide is actually, he was in Game of Thrones as like a stand-in uh, for Hodor. So we have Hodor leading the tour, which is crazy. And we're in the location that they filmed, Bravos. We were missing, obviously, like the big, huge statues that were in the scene. But yeah, if you watched Game of Thrones, you see all these locations, you see the steps. I think this is where Arya came out of the water, isn't it? Yeah, so Arya came out of the water here, and this is, yeah, really cool. And can we talk about the light for a second? It's midday, it's noon. And the light's just beautiful, dramatic. And it's this dramatic light of Ireland that I missed in Greece and it feels, it feels so good to be back in this. It feels so good to, to have this drama every single place we go. And I am going to get the camera out at some point today, hopefully around sunset, definitely tomorrow for sunrise. So don't worry, even though it's a press trip and we're kind of getting dragged around to locations, we're gonna do photography as well. weather's turned to Irish, it's spitting on us pretty good. We're going to check out another location, another Game of Thrones location, uh, the cave that Melisandre gave birth to, uh, I guess, whatever happened. I can't remember, it was season two, but she gave birth to the dark spirit that killed Renly Baratheon in this cave. So I'm told it's just around this corner. And um, I'm sure that we're gonna be soaking wet by the time we get back to the van. <laughs> So if you're Game of Thrones crazy, we're just inside the cave now, and you probably remember this scene where they rode Melisandre in to right here, and then yeah, this is the cave behind us. Pretty cool. Oh baby, don't ever talk about the things that are everlasting. Oh baby, we won't ever last. We're 
at another location. This was behind us. This was the Stormlands and yeah, it's stormy. So it makes a whole lot of sense. A lot of stuff happened here though. He was saying, the guide was saying that actually like multiple scenes and multiple locations were filmed here. So it was the Stormlands and I guess that would be season two. There was also a scene that was supposed to be the Iron Islands that was filmed along this beach and then with these cliffs. And there was another scene that was supposed to be Slaver's Bay. So actually three locations were all filmed right here in this really stormy, windy bay. Getting sleepy after uh, <laughs> after last night's party, but we're here at the Bushmills Inn. We're gonna get lunch, and then I think we have a bit of a surprise happening. We just had uh, lunch at Bushmills and it was amazing and there was a sign pointing to the secret library and it took me into this room and I was disappointed because I'm like, that's not much of a library. And then... My new drone, it doesn't have the firmware update, it's not ready to go, my batteries aren't charged, so no aerial footage from the drone today. But I do think we have another way of getting some aerial footage. We're in the chopper. I don't get the drive, I don't think. Oh, you'll be driving. He doesn't know that we crashed a drone a couple days ago. You don't know I crashed a helicopter a couple days ago. <laughs> <laughs> I got the 24 to 70 on, but I've also stuffed some lenses at my feet, put a polarizer on, probably and a off a bit when yeah, fly hopefully we fly. Okay. Oh, that was good crack. As they say, that was good crack. It was fun. It got a little bit queasy because we were spinning. We were like, we were bouncing up and around and we were getting good angles, but it kind of, it was, I don't know if I got a good shot. It was really, really fun and it was incredible to be up there from a life standpoint. As a photographer, you can kind of understand why we use drones so much because it's so hard to compose on the go, bumping around. And I had my like shutter speed set to one, one thousandth, one two thousandth even. And even then it was hard to get sharp shots. So. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was incredible and hopefully I got some cool images. We covered a lot of ground. We saw so many Game of Thrones locations. We went over Giant's Causeway. We went over the place where all the Dothraki kind of surrounded Daenerys at that one location. There was just so many cool locations that we saw and it was just so good. And I think now we're heading to the hotel. Whew. 
we're at our hotel and it is beautiful. The view is straight down the beach. It's absolutely stunning. And we're here for two nights actually. I'm uh, not gonna photograph sunset because it's raining a little bit outside and it's been a long day already. We did get some photography in. It looks like there's some cool like rock formations down on the waterfront so maybe for sunrise I'll go down and do some seascape photography. But for now, enjoying Northern Ireland and thinking that if I ever own a place, I want it to be on a view like this. Maybe with more windows, with bigger windows but this is just absolutely beautiful and i'm definitely going to enjoy this tonight and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace